Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be farming up the Dwarven Dice. Let us begin. Okay, so today we're going to be farming up the Dwarven Dice. Now, a good thing to know when you are actually doing this gold farm is you need to have a rogue. I thankfully have my Worgen rogue who basically he is the only one able to be able to do this gold farm. So therefore, if you aren't a rogue, then that's a little bit of an issue for you guys today. That being said, we'll go into worth it and we'll actually have a look at this particular thing of this particular farm. We can go over to toys and then we can go over towards the decahedral dwarf and dice. This is currently going for around about 87,875 gold with a sell rate of 0.01 so it sells just like transmog and the location is ice crown. However, Worth it also doesn't tell you that there is another gold farm for this, which is located within Dragonblight. You can get the Dwarven Dice off of any of the Onslaught Guards. So therefore, you can either get it in the Onslaught Harbour, and you can also get it here on this map right now, which is just over here next to the Crystal Vice. That being said, this is a very good gold farm in order to do, and I've done this a lot back in the day when I was doing high ticket um, item farming. This is so I only focused on high ticket items, so things like the battered hilt, dwarven dice, worn troll dice, battered hilt, uh, I've already said that, the sealed term of the lost legion, all those different types of ones. Now how do you actually do this gold farm? Now you're going to be wanting to utilize your rogue and use your pickpocketing ability. So if we go into stealth quickly, I've actually made up a nice little macro for everyone, which if we go into sap, which shows the tooltip for the pickpocket, casts the mouse over on the actual sap. So basically what it actually does is this. We walk up to it, I click the actual button, and it pickpockets the mob for me by just hovering my mouse over towards these guys. Now, we will need to have some form of way of identifying what type of items we're actually collecting. I predominantly, for me, I will use the Worth It recorder, and if we go up and pull in the worth it recorder we can reset it and we can just go like that but you can also use loot appraiser to go along with this that being said our objective is very 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 simple it is pickpocket all of the all of the mobs in the current area now this actually goes all the way around here and by the way just so you know i've left the tooltip in the description of the video for the macro just so you guys aren't actually left behind, you actually do have something to use if you are using your rogue to farm this. We're going to want to start at the actual cathedral. We want to make our way around and down, then come all the way back up and go across the bridge, go over to the bridge, then fly around and loop back round. What we're mainly going for pickpocketing is the harbour guards. They have a higher chance of dropping this item for the dwarven dice. Now this, these range from anywhere from 0.3% to 0.7%. And with the multitude of mobs in this area is quite dense, it's far better than the dragon blight one. However, you still have a chance of getting the one from the dragon blight if someone else is already farming this because it will become very, very annoying and hard to actually farm if another person is farming hence why i'm giving you another farm right there along with that the gold per hour for this is fairly okay however it is a ticket high ticket item so you are going for an rng based gold farm so just bear that one in mind if you are willing to spend an hour or two farming this up and basically is it worth your time to farm up for me at 87k that is definitely worth my time in order to farm up this dice. Other than that, guys, that is basically everything I want to say for today. Have an awesome rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. Mm -hmm. 